to the economy in this country now and a big boost in jobs. Nearly 43,000 Canadians found work last month. That's double what economists had predicted. And that sent the unemployment rate down to 6.9 percent, tying a post-recession low. The headline sounds great, but as Shirley Engel reports, the devil is in the details. Kathleen Clark just landed her first paid gig out of journalism school. I was super lucky in that I knew a guy who knew a guy <laughs> who knew of the position opening up. A communications assistant at an international development nonprofit, she's on a two month contract hoping it'll lead to full time work. There are jobs out there, it just takes some mining. Despite a dismal post recession youth job market, the latest StatsCan report offers some good news. 33,000 people like Kathleen, aged 15 to 24, were hired in March. That's most of the new jobs. But the overall youth unemployment rate remained unchanged at 13.6 percent, too high, according to labor experts. They're not finding fulfilling work. They're finding part-time, temporary, transient work. And uh, that's, not, that's not good for the economy. It was the public sector doing much of the hiring last month. Provincial positions in health care and social assistance. BC led the pack with 18,000 more jobs. Unemployment changed little across the prairies where unemployment is lowest. Ontario and Quebec added 13,000 and 15,000 jobs respectively, while the Maritimes saw some minor job losses. Alberta remains the strongest province for job growth overall, 4% over the last year alone. Things are just strong enough to slightly chip away at the, uh, at the unemployment rates. After a long winter, a thawing job market in the U.S. is promising. Nearly 200,000 new positions, unemployment holding steady at 6.7 percent. So I think there's going to be a little bit more improvement in the job market over the next year, but I wouldn't expect uh, really strong growth either. This is the first jobs report under newly minted finance minister Joe Oliver. Each month will vary somewhat, but the overall trend is very positive uh, because uh, there's been over a million jobs created since the depths of the recession. But we'll need to see many more months of growth before the Canadian economy fully recovers. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.